good to see you Hunter, it's been exactly 3 years since I made a video here on the Loggers Point how to bait feral hawks. The baiting has now changed quite a bit, it's been simplified by quite a bit. Before the feeders would have attractiveness and when you put feed in it it would slowly grow. It took 7 days for the feeder to fully grow to 100% and this has now been changed once you put food in it within four hours it'll be active and it will be fully baiting the animals so i want to try out this place again and see what has changed back then i had a lot of hawks around the feeder uh, later the baiting changed a bit so that almost no animals came back uh, so i want to go back here and check out the feeder Let's have a quick look at the map. This is in the north of Loggers Point and here is my feeder down in a little valley. Really easy to overview and I will be thrilled to see how baiting works here. One of the big issues back then was on Loggers Point. I found exactly three places where the feeder would go up to 100% even though there is really a lot of places with furrow hawks it took quite a while to find the places and once you had the places found uh, even then you wouldn't be sure if you had furrow hawks coming to the feeders this particular one we're looking at today uh, the one in the video that I made was really the best and initially I really had a lot of hawks then later people ask me is this still working because I don't have much luck some said my feeder doesn't move it doesn't go anywhere it stays at zero percent what can I do if I change it what just a few meters uh, it changes again as far as the attractiveness it was just a big mess very unreliable the system that has initially been, been really not too bad had become worse and worse over a number of changes that they made so now it's really simple you put the feeder and you can put it anywhere and the success of the feeder really depends on if there's any animals around if you put it somewhere where there is no feral hawks then you simply won't have any but here we do I have a first call and I'm actually going to go slow I'm not sure where this signal animal or maybe group is moving but the chances are high that they are attracted what has also changed is the shooting penalty before when you shot an animal that was baited the attraction would drop down to 25% and then regrow 35% a day so after roughly two days it had grown back to 100% uh, now it's different once you shoot an animal there's a 30 minute penalty that's all there is to it 30 minutes later the feeder is gonna go back to active and is going to fully bait again I'm using the starting time of 11 o'clock some of the people in the forum had made statistics and myself I've also observed certain times and I've noticed that feral hawks can go to sleep after 10 or after 12.30 so after 10 that could be from 10 to 11 so I've picked 11 o'clock and we should have less animals sleeping and that should lead to more animals being attracted now of course due to the call there I've been crouching that takes a long time the distances haven't changed you still need to be 400 meters away with your feeder from any tent, lodge or campsite the 
Now the feeder is coming into the view. Slowly creeping in on the hunter mate. This place is also good for mule deer. We find plenty of tracks already. Pheasants called and we saw one. There are a few coyotes around as well, not too many. There is more calling. The attraction range of the hawk feeder is 250 meters. That might be within, actually that hawk should be within that attraction radius. Maybe it's gonna move towards the feeder as well. I wanna do a couple of hunts, not just one. This one is the very first. So the time since I've been baiting here is at least two years. The video is from three years ago. Especially after they had problems with the reliability of the feeders of the whole system. I pretty much stopped. What is also a bit different now is that the consumption is now fixed at five days while it will last so when you put in 50 units every day you will lose 10 after fa 5 days the feeder is going to be empty oh this is looking promising already from up here we can see 3 hawks Around the feeder we had two more singles or groups calling from different angles. It's been a while, I don't remember, I had a really good place here. It was a cut tree where I could slowly go up on top of, I think it was this one actually. I have to be careful though, I don't have any camo. Hmm, it's about the same place as before. Where we get this call from. looking for large males this one is in the upper third I would say but not a super hawk still looking over here the first call came from this angle Oh, here's my trunk. And I can still go up here. And sit, sit on here like a parrot. So there's two males. A very small one and a good size. But nothing out of the ordinary. There is more. I was just going to say from back there we can have hawks coming in. Ooh, this one is looking good. Over 1,000 points is the max that it could score. But the statistics tell me it's gonna be score somewhere between 950 and 980 maybe. But it's got a good weight, almost or over 190 kilograms. What the heck are you eating up there when you can have my expensive nice food down here? There's something with the bears that the hawks don't have. With the bears you will see large ones feeding first and small, smaller ones circling the barrel until the big ones move away. With the feral hawks you don't have this. They just come all in and this is why you could have initially 10 or more furls around the feeder
I'm just going to wait if there's more coming and there are from this group another male the typical feral hawk group has been back then two males three females but that was not a fixed number you could always have singles or other groups so this group is just two males it looks there's one more peak over here if anything is coming in but I think that's okay for our first visit here we have five feral hawks circling I would say the first three will now slowly move out they do tend to stick around for quite some time that used to be the case now I don't know how it relates to be honest so I shouldn't say they should move away maybe they'll just stay there or at least for a longer time we don't know all right so this is our first visit to the barrel like said I want to do a couple of these visits just to check it out how it is we'll be right back with the second visit and here we are this is visit number two and the Sun is coming up just in time let's get going same scenario 11 o'clock north of Loggers Point somewhat cloudy day almost ready for lunch <laughs> so let's go back to the feeder the 340 Weatherby is ready in case something runs in front of us and again we're being greeted by pheasants actually that's good that they call me and tell me where they are because I'm heading right towards the pheasant so I'll be I'll have to be careful not to spook them towards the feeder because this hasn't changed of course if there's an animal flying or running in flea mode towards the feeder everything will spook So when the feral hawks are, are looking at a flying pheasant somehow they can recognize in the eyes of the pheasants whether it's fleeing or just gliding around. That has always astonished me. I'll take a slight turn. This tower is actually also useful in case you hunt here and the first call is from you dear this time in this t um, case it is the second call nice 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 even though the feeder is outside of the range here you cannot see it on the map you better don't shoot at animals from here bring a bow which I haven't but shooting here will likely lead to an empty feeder animals will just have moved away
I haven't signed up for the shotgun competition for the mule deer. Maybe in a minute I'm going to regret this. Can I make it up the tower before spooking the bunch here? Oh, there it is on this side. Ooh, look at this buck. Nice, nice, nice. But I will shoot you another day. So let's see the pheasants here. And we'll move on. May the buck run. There it goes. Farewell. Jumping, jumping, jumping. So this time I'll walk closer than last time. The good part about spooking the buck is that it's not going to call again. I want to hear the hawks calling. So I have an idea where they are and I would actually also like to spook the pheasants to be honest. But that's a bit risky. I'll just let him sit there. It's so nice that the trunk is still there. That I can sit on. Three years later and it didn't go dry. This area looks exactly the same, it hasn't changed a bit. Isn't that interesting? And the feeder is coming up on the map. At this point, actually, I would expect Fairhawks to call. Because a call is due. And sure enough, there they are. At the feeder. Thank you for proving my point. Ah, we'll just walk down here. Ferals are not too spooky anyway. The only risk here is to have some mule deers around or even coyotes. Even though they are rare. But I'm not too worried about the hawks spooking. Visit number two coming up. And three seems to be a stable number. A stable number for the number of visitors. One male. The small one is certainly female. What is this? A small male. So two males, one female. I think this is okay. Three feral hawks at the feeder per visit, especially with the short penalty time of only 30 minutes. This is okay. There is no poaching no mass killing really possible this way and 
not sure where the poaching just came from. That's something else. So Parrot goes, sits on the tree and keeps talking. Let's look back here. Which is a reliable source for more ferals. Nothing here. Nothing moving in from there also. The feeder is actually also supposed to spawn extra animals. And why do I believe that number is three? So it spawns three animals. Although there is an artificial hour between spawning and me starting at the at every hunt session at the beginning one hour is being simulated to move around the animals to create the tracks to make them unreliable where they are you cannot tell where they spawn from so maybe the feeder has spawned five animals and they've moved on we don't know What I'll do this time is, I want to check out how many tracks we have. I see you later, piggies. This is the number one that already called. Two. Still two, three feral hawks, tracks of three feral hawks. Feral hawks only, I'm inclined to say. That's not much. I wonder what the bear feeders are like, because there you would have tracks of ten. There you go, that's number four. One hour old. Number five, one hour old. Number six, an hour ago. Alright, so this looks a bit better now. We have six different hawks at least. That's a workable number. Three would have been very few. Alright, number two ends here. We'll be back for session number three. And here we go, ready for number three. For the third time I'm loading up this rifle. This time I'll shoot something. This time I won't care about the penalty because this is the last visit. Always, uh, of course, if there is any Feral Hawks at all. Otherwise, I won't be shooting much. And in case we go after Mule Deer. Just in case. The 308 Carbon. Alright, third visit. Just to do a little recap. The visit number one had three Feral Hawks and two were walking in. Visit number two, we had three at the barrel. This might be a group moving in. We had three at the barrel at visit number two and when checking out there were another three tracks that were one hour old. Those had, could have been the ones that had spawned near the feeder because one hour is exactly uh, what it takes between the animal spawning and me virtually starting this hunt. 
so they spawned there and moved away. Well, that actually answers my question that I had in the first session here. How long will they stay? Will they stay forever? Uh, but no, they move on. Ooh, we have more feral hawks here. 15 minutes old. Would be interesting to see the direction they moved in. <laughs> All kinds of directions. Ooh, this is young. 10 minutes. And now I have to be careful again. So we had from this fur hawk an older track and this rather new one. Just good I read that. Ten minutes is not much. Could be sticking around, could be moving towards the feeder. I don't wanna take chances. One more feral. I'm just ch gonna check this one out. That would be a mule deer. I will walk anyway. I have no signs from the other hawks. That's one more. So we already have quite a number of tracks from Feral Hawks. One call five six different ones already in the area but you could have that easily without the feeder as well moving towards the feeder ready to get a call There it is. This is really a good place. Easy to overlook. And look at this. We've got an empty feeder. Now we've got a full feeder. Just empty of feral hawks. Wow. Of course, three different sessions doesn't tell us a lot. Maybe someone can do 100 sessions and then give us some statistics. But while the first version of baiting was up three years ago, I can tell you I never had an empty feeder. 
never say never but if I had done 100 hunts then 99 of them would have had feral hawks I'm pretty sure you could hear come here all the time oftentimes having six seven eight of them and we had three five and now zero although some coming in where are you oh there it is one lonesome ranger That's a bit disappointing. What are you? Another little feral hoggy. Likely female. Wow. I tell you what, I wanted to do three sessions. get some consistent information but this one is quite different and therefore I'm going to do a fourth session not shooting anything this time keeping the attractiveness active let's do another one all right, here we go. Get all the weaponry ready. But this time we're going to shoot something. <laughs> I really just wanted to do three sessions. Do a harvest just for fun. But after the third session, which was really disappointing, I want to go back a fourth time. I could have checked out the tracks. We did find tracks away from the feeder, so there have been feral hogs. But come on, at the feeder, where the food is, where you would expect all the feral hogs. Where are they? This is not ideal. I'm going to lure the buck out. Or maybe bucks. And move around. If I remember correctly, you can climb these rocks. It's been really a long time here. Um, so the plan is mo move the box out with the call. Sneak around from the south. Quickly have a look and move on. Spook them if possible. Same call, same buck. bunch of them one looking straight at me oh there's another this one is not ideal if he runs what do you do why would you move here see what they do the oldest buck in the game for some it doesn't exist it's the magnetic animals 
Why would they come to me now? But I'm pretty sure they will run north now. Not jeopardizing my feeder. And onwards we march. Get lost. If you're fairly new to the game, the magnetic bu uh, bug, magnetic animals is what I call them. You call from one place, you move to another, and animals move to you instead of the calling location. You can even take advantage, if you practice this for a while, you can manipulate the animals, have them move to different places. But um, in most cases it's not helpful, it's just a problem. For example, when you call coyotes towards you, you move away and they don't stop where you call them, they keep running towards you and they spook and all that, so not ideal. M maybe the bug is because you are still moving while calling. I don't know. Sometimes this seems to be the case. Now we have another buck. Very likely also following the call. I don't know where it is, but it's likely to spook. I'm just glad this herd just moved out of there. Had I come five minutes earlier, they could have all ran towards the feeder. I'm just trying to remember how I did this back then. I think I always walked until the feeder was fully on the display. And then I crouched. I did this so many times, but like I said, it's been three years. Actually, that's what I do also with the bear feeders. Walk until you're within 200 meters and then crouch to be on the safe side. Animals at the feeder will not likely hear you, but you don't want to spook anything towards the feeder. So I'm anxious to see what we're seeing. Visit number four coming up. Slowly moving over the hill here. And the feeder doesn't look too good. No furls. It's always possible that we spook them. Don't forget this. There's one. And it calls now. So I will this time again run down, check out the tracks. But guys, one single animal at the feeder. I can only hope EW is subscribed to my channel, watches this and says, actually we should have a few more. This to me is really, really not worth 
Feral Hawk baiting. I'm likely going to check out the other feeders as well. Using the same method. But the Feral Hawk experiment of baiting 2.0 ends here. With not really a lot of Feral Hawks. could also be that this place isn't really the best anymore back then in the old days it was great oh there's another one coming it was great back then I still like it from the setup you can move in here come down from this hill So I'm going to wait... Oh, what is this? I'm going to wait and see if this is a group or just one single poor male eating something on the way. Mushroom or rats, I don't know. It's pigs, they eat everything. It does look like this is a single hawk. So I will repeat the experiment with places for other animals with other places in areas where I really really know those are good areas and see how it goes there this area was one of the few that really worked now with the new baiting system it might not be the best place why don't you guys find out let me know put some comments below the video tell me if there's really better places and I'm going to end this misery here with two bad shots now you can reload once you're running so let's just count the tracks here one, two, not the tracks but the number of different feral hawks, three, this is the one that it's called, so this is number four, this would be number five, still at five and it looks like the shots were too bad after all so I'm counting five tracks here really is that it
right. What are you guys? Bunch of deer. Five hawks at the feeder. One more time. This is the map. This is the place. Like said, leave a few comments. Let me know if you find better places. This experiment ends here. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.